right, so we're going to do a tire change and we're going to use the famous Harbor Freight tire changer. Um, for the most part, it works well, but there's some parts of it that are crap that need to be changed. This is the mount demount bar, so this is the actual part that you hook around the tire and rub along the rim. This is junk, you don't want to use this. This is from a company called Nomar, and this is fantastic. Um, you've got replaceable um, ends here that will not scratch anything. It uh, makes it a lot easier, it's a lot stronger. Another thing you want to do is you want to modify this, uh, the rack here with the hold down points of the rim itself. And what I've done here is I've taken a piece of plastic that you could get at a woodworker store and this is what woodworkers will use for making uh, jigs and whatnot. And woodworking tools can cut through it. Literally I cut a square, drill the hole, cut into it, cut into it so that I've got this J. Gives me a little bit of a hook here and this, this hole to judge the diameter of that hole, you want it around the thickness of your rim because that's where that's going to grab. Countersink a hole for the bolt to go through, to bolt on to here, and that's it. Um, you do need to mount this to the floor. Don't try using this with it out, without it being mounted. Uh, don't try putting it on a couple boards and think you can stand on it. There's too much torque when you're putting your body weight into it to get the tire off. Uh, so it does have to be mounted. First thing we want to do is we got to break the bead. And what that means is where the tire sits into the rim, that needs to be released. So that's what this part is for here. Um, if you're using a front wheel or if the back and it has a disc brake or if there's a disc brake attached to the back or anything, make sure that you're either taking it off or you're using pieces of wood to go underneath it to raise it up so that it's got a spacer. Uh, we don't want anything to touch. I got a little touch there. I can put a piece of wood underneath there just so none of this red paint comes off on it. We will use this in here and we're going to put this down into here. Um, if you're concerned about it, you can add a little bit of protection here by taking a, uh, a milk jug, a gallon plastic milk jug, um, or half gallon, I don't care, 2% skim, um, cutting it off, using a piece of that plastic to wrap around here, and it makes a really good uh, protection so your rims don't get scratched. We're going to get that up underneath there. Can't do this with my left hand. Just a little bit of pressure. I guess the air isn't all out of the tire there, Peter. My assistant told me the air was out. My assistant's lying back. So, where is... So we take our valve stem tool. Aha. Oh wow. Don't lose your belt stuff. Okay. Now! Oh, look at that. I'm just going to rotate this around a little bit. Now, if you've got a TPM system, a tire pressure monitor, certainly be careful when you're breaking the bead that you're not grinding this along the inside of the of the, of the, uh, the rim. Uh, you won't have problems mounting with the Nomar. Those sensors are generally around the valve and they're generally in the center and you're going to be grabbing the edge. So you won't have any concerns, but just 
pay attention. Alright, this, this is all fixed. Flip it over to the other side. You want to make sure you probably have a lot of towels and goop on hand in case your assistant fails to clean the tires before handing them to you. break the bead. Now we can mount this on here and we'll get this tire off. Positioned right now on the three blocks. Each of these has a pin that can get pulled out to adjust its uh, size so it can have varying size rims. I'm going to take a steel rod, just going to drop down and this is just acting as a pivot point. That's all this does. Crank on this. Oh, they pop out. There we go. All right. Got that. Then, still want to take a strap and go around the rim and around the base of the unit because these blocks are not going to keep it from twisting and you really don't even want something so strong that it's going to grab it so much that it's going to prevent it from twisting because then you could scratch the rim unless you get yeah, a big professional machine and this ain't it. Alright, let's see if that holds up. Okay, so what else are we going to need? We're going to need, um, well, we've already, at this point, we don't need to. Normally, you're going to take the valve stem out, um, use the valve stem tool. It just pulls the little valve out, let all the air out, make sure it's out. That's already been done. Um, we've got some tire changing soap and a spray bottle, literally just soap and water. Uh, from Nomar, some tire lube, and this, get this, I think they actually call it a big yellow thing, and it's just a third hand, it works really good, so. We will get this lubed. We are done with this. If we were gonna be using this and grabbing that tire and pulling it up and over and twisting it around, it would be rubbing red all on that rim. Fine if it's a tractor, but not for this. So, we're going to take this, get on this side, and you can see that there's a flat side, there's a rounded side. We're going to get that in, get it underneath the tire itself, turn it so that it's hooking it, making sure just the plastic is touching the rim, and bringing that up, you can see that's why the strap is there because it's going to spin. Come on, pull that baby out. It's supposed to be easier on camera. Oh, this is going to be a booger. Okay. You can heat it. It helps sometimes. You can clamp one end and that will actually pinch it so that it can get into the rim a little bit more. Let's see if that helps. There we go. Use a wooden clamp. So you don't bang up anything. Ah, I'm not going to really get in there. Mm. 
Nope. Uh, we'll go this direction. One side off. Get this up. I'm blocking the video. Once again, get it up underneath there, turn it so that it hooks it. And we're off. Piece of cake. Um, if it's hard to get the tire off sometimes, like I said, you can heat it, use a heat gun, put it out in the sun. Um, anything that's going to soften it is going to make it a lot easier. Um, the fatter the tire, the more you're going to want to heat it. It's going to react a little better. And Okay. Okay, um, we've got the new tire. You want to make sure you're putting it on with the same rotation that the old one is on. There'll be an arrow pointing uh, in the direction. Um, sometimes the arrow is going to be on both sides of the tire. Sometimes it's only going to be on one. If it's only on one, match if you're using the same tire, the tread pattern to the one you took off is the one you're putting on. So now we get our, our little love jelly. Take some of that, put that around the inside rim, or inside of the tire, and let's see, and we're on. Watch your fingers. A little bit more. Okay. This is where this guy comes in handy. Oh, put our bar back in. Okay. So, we're going to get one started. We're going to take this, hook it underneath there. Oh, bitch. Just that easy. Then, we're going to use this side now. And, we're going to Hook this underneath, like that, and crank that around. Now we're going to probably have to pinch the side, and you're going to pinch the side opposite of the one you're having problems with. Of course it couldn't go smoothly. It's never going to go smoothly for you either, unless there's a camera rolling. Two nuts popped in. Ta da! Alright. So you just got every tire is going to be different. You're going to want to play with it. Um, figure out which works best for you. Reuse the jelly. Okay. Now we can get this off the rack. Fill it up there, and then we can balance it. We've mounted the tire on the rim, and now we have to balance it. 
So clean the rim off uh, because you're going to need to put new wheel weights on. Take the old wheel weights off, make sure that's clean. And what we're going to use is, this is a Mark Parnes, markparnes.com, uh, wheel balancer. This is the key right here. Um, this, it looks ugly, but it works. You need a stable platform that's going to be level in this direction. I've got this on a 2x4 with a 2x4 mounted here, that way it can sit in a vise. Perfect. We're going to take one end off. And you can buy different size cones for different bikes. Okay, so now we got it on here, and these are basically high precision bearings. What you're going to do is we get some tape, we let this sit, and we're going to identify what the heavy end is and what the light end is. Right now, the heavy end is down here, that's why it's on the bottom. So let's take a piece of tape and mark the top. That's the light end. Turn it 15 minutes, if this was a clock. Let go. So it's going back up. Our wheel weights. Wheel weights. You can buy them in small amounts, or you can buy them in big amounts. Depends on how many people, how many tires you want to do, how many you could resell them, whatever. So this is where it takes a little bit of patience because you want this to settle itself down. We've already marked this as the top, that's the light end so we know that's going to go. So let's just try, we'll start off with one weight on that. Alright, so we put a weight on again, rotate it, kind of steady it, let go, still spinning, do it again. Alright, we got two on there now. Give that a shot. Almost there. I don't need my tapes. And it doesn't matter which direction you spin it to, you can alter it just to make sure you know. Getting something where, oh, got a sticker on here just to make sure, no extra weight. Mm, got a little too much. So these are just lead and we can cut it in half. Here wire cutters. Good wire cutter fell for Jesus. What kind of weights did you get? The good ones. God! <laughs> Titanium? It's for a motorcycle. It's, it's diamond weight. These are diamond weight. Oh my God. 
Okay, cut. <laughs> Stop. Good. Okay, so after we gingerly cut them, apparently these are not lead. I guess the uh, tree huggers are forbidding lead weights anymore, so. be funny if lead weights were on a Prius though, wouldn't it? Look at that. We'll check it the other way. Moving a little bit. That. I'm bumping this a little bit. There you go, balanced wheel. So now we're just going to take the adhesive off, put the wheel weights on the tire, and we're finished. Hope this helps. Feel free to donate. We need funds. Cut.